welcome to another Mario Party 8 minigame review! Up today, we're playing the four player minigame Treacherous Tightrope. And don't get it confused with Tightrope Treachery. This is its own thing. In this one, all four players are going across their own tightropes, and whoever makes it to the end first will win. But be careful because there's wind blowing, so you need to keep your balance. To do this, you use the motion controls of the Wii Remote and kind of tilt it left or right to make sure that you stay on the tightrope. Like I said, get to the end first and win. Gosh, who knew wind could be so strong? Uh, I've heard rumors. I mean, I used to live in Iowa, so like, I mean, tornadoes were there and yeah, that's just wind, right? So I definitely believe it. Well, this wind is so strong, it's gonna knock us right off the rope. And it's pretty easy to fall off. Yeah, I appreciate the motion controls in this one because it's a really good concept for a mini game, but it definitely takes some getting used to. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't imagine playing this without motion controls. No, it's definitely one of those mini games that's actually made better by motion controls. Like, if you're just playing with a control stick, I think it's a lot less compelling. It's really fun having to try and figure out how much to tilt the Wii Remote left or right, while also tilting it forward to move. It's also one of those slow and steady mini games where you'd rather be a little bit more slow and steady than go really, really fast and just fall right off. And those are always really hard for me because it gets kind of tedious. Yeah, but because it's a race, you also need to balance that out with being fast enough to win. It's a pretty good combination. It is. I do feel like this mini game's kind of short, which I don't know if you want it to be much longer. And there's not a whole lot of replayability. It feels like once you've played it a few times, you're kind of over it. Yeah, I will agree. It's a bit simplistic. Once we figured out the controls and how much we kind of had to tilt the Wii Remote, it became a lot easier. And while it was still fun to try and race each other to the end, it does lose a little bit of its luster over time. Yeah, but for it coming up every now and then in a Mario Party game, it's pretty fun. Agreed. So overall, Treacherous Tightrope is definitely better than Tightrope Treachery. It's a really clever use of the motion controls and one that's definitely made better because of them. It may get a little bit easy over time once you figure out the trick of tilting the Wii Remote, but if you're just playing it occasionally instead of over and over like we did for this review, I think it's definitely fun enough to keep you interested every time. We're giving it 3 out of 5 stars. Well that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Up next, we'll be reviewing Water Ski Spree. Wow, that one's a hard one to say. Let's hope it's not hard to play. If you want to see how it is, come back for our next video. Hope, hope to see, see you then. then.